Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the suspension spring on your front load washer. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will be working near some electrical circuits. So the first thing we need to do is to disconnect power to the washer. So either pull it far enough forward that we can unplug it or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuse. Now we will need access to the back of the washer so that we can remove the screws that secure the top. So we'll begin with that next. We'll pull it forward and take those screws out. Now to remove the main top, we'll need to remove these three screws located across the back. They're normally a quarter inch hex head screw. And on some models, they come with a little plastic washer to protect the porcelain finish of the main top. With the screws removed, simply grasp that top, pull it back towards you, just about three quarters to an inch, and then lift it off. The front is secured by a couple of tabs that fit under two clips towards the front of the dryer. So we'll set that aside, and then we'll go to the front. Now with the main top removed, we've located the spring that we're going to replace. In this case, this one is still intact. But we'll need to remove it from both the odor tub and from this nylon or plastic insert that attaches at the top frame rail of the cabinet. Now these springs are supporting the whole weight of the inner tub, outer tub, concrete counterweights, as well as the motor. So there's a fair amount of weight involved here. If you just try lifting that spring off, the whole tub assembly will go to the bottom of the washer and you may damage either the motor control board or the drive motor or the drain pump motor. So what we want to do is to be able to support that tub while we remove that spring. And one method that we use is to take a heavy duty ratchet strap, hook one end of it through the spare hole on the side of that odor tub, and then either attach it to the top rail of the cabinet or in a case where the ratchet strap is too long, we can wrap it right around the cabinet and attach it to the bottom of the cabinet and allow it to pull up from there. We'll make sure that we have a solid anchor on the bottom of the cabinet, as well as that anchor into the tub. And then we'll take some of the weight off of that spring. If need be, put some protection between the side of the cabinet and your ratchet strap so that we don't do any damage to your cabinet. Now, grasp the top of that spring with a pair of locking pliers. Lift it out of that socket on the side of the cabinet. And then unhook it from the tub and we'll discard this old spring. Firmly attach your locking pliers to the new spring. Make sure it's hooked firmly into the tub. And then we'll stretch that spring just enough to set it in the socket on the side of the cabinet. Remove our pliers. And then we can take the tension off the ratchet strap Now we're ready to put the top back on the washer. Now when reinstalling this top, we want to make sure that these two tabs at the front will slide into that plastic catch at the front of the washer. So we're going to set it down a half to three quarters of an inch gap between the console and the main top. Make sure it's laying flush. Simply push it forward. Make sure both front corners are engaged and then we'll install the screws in the back. Now with the top secure, we can now push the washer back into position. We'll reconnect any water hoses that we may have disconnected as well as the drain hose. With the washer back in position, we can now reconnect the power and your repair is complete.